They think they have high energy, they can't match me. I know for some people this would be a disaster and they would hate this. Um, I love it. When do we get on our iPads? When do we get on our iPads? When do we get on our iPads? Hi, my name's Megan. I'm a fifth year, third grade teacher. Welcome back to my classroom. It's the first day of school, hooray. Um, I've been up since 4.45. My alarm was set for 5.45. Tossed and turned all night. And if that's not the first day of school, I don't know what is. So I just got to school. I have a bunch of copies to go make. Um, I have about a half hour before the kids show up, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I need to go do that. Just get the schedule on the board. A bunch of things that I thought of at 4.45. So time to go get that done. And yeah. Um, if you're not jamming out on your way to school to your favorite songs, you're doing it wrong. I don't make the rules. Okay, so I came in, printed right at the office, um, and then walked everything down. Got the last couple things that were untidy, moved to a spot that makes them look tidy. Whether that's their actual home or not is a different story, but at least it looks presentable. So I'll give you a quick tour, and then the kids come in about 10 minutes. Our sunshine committee gave us lunch or gave us breakfast so i'm just going to run down and grab that really quick and then the kids are going to be here so this is the carpet area with lots of spaces they can sit on the carpet they can sit around the carpet as long as they're like in this rectangle i'm counting it as a good day um we got our two standing tables with pencil sharpener and all their supplies games two tables to sit at, two desks, all of their cubbies are all ready, the little library area, and then this is my tidy enough spot because I don't really know what else to do with it. I need to laminate these little things and the kids are all gonna get to pick a Snoopy to go on our bulletin board outside today. When the kids come in this morning, they get to pick between a coloring page or a word search or both depending on how much time they have when they get here. Early Adventures um, talks about doing a Shades of Summer activity, so I'll talk about that more when we do it, but I have the sunglasses ready to go in case we have time for that to even get started on that today. Then I found this All About Me page on Canva that we're gonna use for later. Okay, so it's lunch. We made it to lunch on time, so there's check one of the day. The other checkpoint of the day is to make it to dismissal with every kid on the right bus. Check one of the day, working on check two. Um, we got to lunch, we went over lunch. This morning we literally organized all of their materials and that's it, then we went to lunch. Let me show you what the room looks like currently. I know for some people this would be a disaster and they would hate this. Um, I love it, I love that I chose to take their color bins out and put them on their desk and that's gonna be like their spot. I think it makes it look a little bit clustered, but Hopefully we'll keep them organized and keep them organized in a specific spot. I have already a really good feeling of who I need to check in with more often with and who has the materials going. I'm gonna go check in with fourth grade because those are my friends in the school and they have lunch at the same time. Go check in with them, eat my lunch and just enjoy some quiet for a second. It is so crazy how fast the first day goes. So we went out, we had recess. Um, we came back in. I couldn't find my Harry Potter book. That's what happens when you don't find the things you're supposed to have ahead of time. So I need to find that for tomorrow. So instead we just talked about the postcard that I sent home um, with the picture of my family and where we went this summer. Talked about some of the things they did this summer and then read a couple interesting facts for them. And it was already time for music. So we had there. I just got back and I um, laminated all the Snoopies that are gonna go on our board. So I'm gonna get those cut out so that I can then have all the kids pick their Snoopy, get those on the board either later today or tomorrow. We have to pick them up in about 15 minutes. We're going to have them color the take home folder page while I have them pick a Snoopy, get their backpacks all packed up. And that should only take us like a half hour. So we'll have a half hour left of the day, but I'd rather just be packed up and know that we're packed up and ready to go so it's not a giant rush at the end of the day. Go through dismissal and what that looks like in here. And if we have any extra time, I have an all about me page, but that's last thing to happen. So it's been a super great day. The kids have super high energy, I'm really excited. They think they have high energy, they can't match me. So 
they don't know what's coming for them. And yeah, so it's been a great day. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna get these all cut out and then go pick them up. <sighs> Made it through the first day of school. Second check of the day, all my kids got on the correct bus and went home. If they didn't, the office didn't tell me about it before I left. So I'm counting that as a win. The, they decorated their little red folder things and packing up took a while, which is to be expected. There's a ton of handouts the first couple weeks and things like that. So I went home with them and I just need to post um, on our communication site the picture that we took as a class the first day and then the first day is done. The best advice I can give is that as much as you want to plan a ton of things and have every minute filled, you never get through it all. So just be prepared to not get through it all. It's going to be okay. Um, I didn't plan anything for this week. So I'm really speaking to myself that great job not planning anything because everything took a lot longer than expected. We literally only got through organizing folders and all their materials and getting their take home folder set and then packing them. That's it. That's literally all we did today. Um, which sounds crazy when you're there for a normal school day, but it just, everything takes so long because everyone's doing everything together. So tomorrow we're going to hopefully get a little bit more of like all about me and some writing things, maybe a little bit of math. I still don't really want to break out iPads tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Stay tuned. Pro tip, get yourself a nice thing to look forward to in the morning for the first week of school. Mine is iced coffee. Yum. Okay, so it's Thursday, I filmed um, some like getting ready stuff for Wednesday. And then I got to my classroom as the kids got there. And it, I, every time I was like, oh, I should go back and film. And I just never did. So we're gonna try to do better with that. Um, I need to go into the school. I need to get print off morning work. And there's something else that I have saved on my laptop that I need to print this morning. So I'm gonna go into the office, print that, get to my classroom, make sure that's ready to go, put a schedule on the board. I think that's it. Let's do it. I walked in and I remembered that we have expectation stations this morning, which is like our, um, we go to the cafeteria, to the playground, to the hallway, and somewhere else. And we talk about what are the expectations in that environment like eat your food don't play with your food what to use your silverware for stuff like that volume level in the hallway where your hand should be all those things so that's today so i planned out all of this morning and then i walked in and i was like oh we have that today so i need to sit down and figure out what time exactly that is so that i can readjust my plans um i had to print off morning work and a numbers about me for math later and I did like a fact test that we're gonna do before we go out to recess today to just see see what we got going on. Check in with our math and addition and subtraction skills. All right, here we go. Okay, take three on the week. So it's Friday. I just dropped Hadley off at her grandparents for the day. Um, we had a super productive day yesterday. They did, I was really blown away by their writing. I'm gonna grab out, try to grab out a couple of the projects to just show you what we did. And then we're gonna finish them today and hopefully get, I had them do a quick write yesterday. And I was really impressed with their stamina for writing, even if the quality, but like stamina for writing is okay. Um, and then today we're gonna do more of like the process piece of that so it's a good 
here's what they can do without guidance. Here's some structure. How does that change their work? So I can kind of just get a feel for that. And then all of them have asked all week, when do we get on our iPads? When do we get on our iPads? When do we get on our iPads? Um, so I think we're gonna break those out today. I've been kind of working on their password pages, but some of like the licenses for the apps we use haven't really come through yet. So I didn't wanna print them and then have to reprint them a million times. But I think we have most of them. So I'm just gonna print them on regular paper. And then once we get the new licenses that aren't finalized yet, then I can print them on cardstock. I send like a cheat sheet home to parents of what all the apps are so they know what their kids are going on. But I think we might, I think we might break them out today. So let's get to school, finish setting up for the day. I can show you some stuff and then we'll get to it. Week one is officially done. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can keep up with all the content of third grade land for the 2024-25 school year. See you later.